Good evening. A standoff between HS2 campaigners and contractors over plans to clear woodland in Buckinghamshire has ended. After nearly a year thwarting efforts near Steeple Claydon, protesters have today threatened, been threatened with arrest and contractors finally moved in. HS2 Limited wants to clear a 500-acre site for an engineering depot, but campaigners say the fight's not over yet, as Brennan Nichols reports. The sounds and sights that they've been dreading. Chainsaws and tree cutters clearing land. Every day for the past 19 days, villagers from Steeple Claydon have been standing in the way of diggers to stop this happening. Today, the law stopped them. Paperwork hasn't been produced to me. Um, I'm too low down the chain. However, it's gone to our legal department. And the orders have come quite clearly down that they're satisfied that HS2 do own the land. So if it comes to it, I believe I'm acting lawfully in a rescue. HS2 Limited insists it does own this land and that the farmer will be paid for his losses. However, any civil legal challenge to that would be long, costly and too late to stop this work. HS2 haven't got plans or costings for the site. They haven't got a contractor in place to even build it yet. So this clearance is going ahead under review and it, 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 it just... Goals us. We will fight on. We will continue to attend site to make sure that HS2 abide by the rules and that is to say that they won't take out any ancient trees, i.e. oak trees, until the review is in place and we will hold them categorically to that. The high-speed rail project is designed to cut journey times and cut carbon over coming decades. Its costs, though, have spiralled and an independent review is considering if it's still worthwhile. Its findings should be known by the end of the year. The government will then decide whether to carry on or scrap the project. So now, all villagers in Steeple Claydon can do is watch, though they vow to watch carefully to ensure that work stays legally on the right side of the fence. Brenna Nichols, BBC South Today. Meanwhile, roadworks in the village of Great Missingdon as part of HS2 preparations has been suspended. Protesters there had been trying to stop a link road being widened. The firm says it's now working with the council on a redesign which would save as many trees as possible. The construction work will cease until the new year.